Here is our infamous wire gauge chart. Now, how do we make sense out of it? Actually, it's very straightforward. Take a look here. These two wires, how are they different? Well, certainly one's a lot larger than the other. Certainly one costs a lot more to purchase than the other. And one can carry a lot more current through it. And that's the whole point of our wire gauge chart. Any wire you purchase or use in your aircraft will be sized by this wire gauge chart. These are standard numbers that designate just how large a wire is. What's kind of interesting about this chart is if you will notice, the larger number is really the smallest wire and the smaller number is really your larger wires. It's kind of backwards, but that's the way it works. Here's an example of a number four size wire, this big, thick cable. In fact, you can be sure it's a number four by looking at the jacket and seeing that the four AWG, that's for American Wire Gauge, and that's how we know it's a number four. We're going to use this to supply uh, power from our battery to the aircraft, especially for our starting circuit, which is going to draw a lot of amperage. On the other side of the coin is a much thinner wire. This is an example of a size 14. It can draw a lot less current, but is quite common and suitable for a lot of our circuits in the aircraft. Here are some other examples of wire sizes here. That uh, yellow wire is a size 20, the red is a size 18, and the white, you can tell, is a little bit thicker at a size 16. These are going to be some of the more common standard wire sizes you will use when wiring your aircraft because of the circuits you are going to build. Now, how do we make sense of this chart so that it can do something useful for us? Let's say your landing light circuit, you want to put your landing lights on their own circuit, and you've determined that they draw about 12 amps, give or take. Well, you'd want to protect that circuit with a fuse or circuit breaker of a size 15. 10 would be too small, 15 would be just right for a 12 amp circuit. That circuit must be wired with a wire gauge size of no smaller than number 14. You could use a larger wire if you had some on hand, but 14 would be the smallest. If you used any smaller size wire for a circuit that's going to draw as much as 15 amps, then those wires would be too small. They would overheat. That would be more of a dangerous situation. So you basically start with the size fuse that's going to protect the circuit, and then you can find out what size wire must be used in that circuit, and it's just that simple.